Beach with Beastie and Nikki. Okay, guys, it's the second half. Me and BC got you buckled up, sitting tight. But it's time for the main event. We had so many different artists come through, singers, rappers, comedians, actresses, judges, actors. Judges. Judges. <laughs> and judges. Tonight, we have the pleasure of meeting another multi-faceted artist. Hold on. So I want to go ahead and bring you to the... Hold on, but, but, babe, before you introduce, I want to shout out to Judge Joe Brown. You know, this is my guy, man. I miss you, Judge Joe Brown. We go, we shout go out to Judge Joe Brown. Judge Joe Brown been on here twice. Shout out to Judge Joe Brown, man. It's my guy. Judge Joe Brown, man. It's crazy. I'm sorry. Do you so as I was saying, shout out to Judge Joe Brown. But I do want to go ahead and introduce you guys to Ms. Vero G. Welcome to the stage. Welcome to Women's Takeover. Thank you so much, guys, for having me. I'm, I'm honored. Thank you. Thank you. It's truly our pleasure. Um, we are, or should I say we pride ourselves on introducing new talent to the masses is what we do. So for you to have reached out and want to be a part of that is phenomenal. So let's get right into it. Zero G, where does that name come from? How did you get that name? Definitely, sure, no problem. Uh, so pretty much uh, years ago, as being a child, my, my mother and my dad was like, you know, my full name is Veronica Gonzalez, and, and in, the, in the house, people were like, hey, Vero, you know, pretty much short for Veronica, because they were like, it's too, it's too long just to say the whole entire word, the name, and everything else. They were like, let's make it sure it's sweet. Hey, Vero, you know, come here or do this or do the errands and stuff like that. So, um, I, you know, from that nickname years ago um, to now, I realized, you know, that's kind of like short and sweet, and it kind of stands out. So I said, that would be kind of a cool artist name to put together in that sort. It is cool. It's Short, like you said, short and sweet. You would not believe some of the artist names. Good. We have long names. We have weird names. Names we can't pronounce. So I appreciate Vero G. <laughs> Completely. You're welcome. Not a problem. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. So where are you from? Yeah, um, born and raised here in New York City. Um, those people, uh, it's like middle, like I say, uh, Lower East Side, but it. If people don't know what that's that's more like around. Yes, New York City, yes. Uh, that's more like, like downtown Manhattan or, you know, East Village, as they call it, but yeah. Oh, yeah, East Village. Shout out to East Village, yo. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Oh, my <laughs> God. Definitely a homegirl. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, man. We got to get her to come to the awards, Nikki. We definitely, Aww. definitely, August, August awesome. the state August radio 6th. will be doing, oh, excuse me, August 6th, we'll be doing the stage awards in New York. Oh, that's We're awesome. coming back. Wow. We're bringing the, the artists back, and it's going to be live, it's going to be lit, so let's definitely work awesome. together and see how we can make that happen. Oh, definitely, I'm honored. Definitely, definitely. Super dope. So, your bio is extensive. Um, you, you know, your talent range, you posted, or excuse me, it states that you sing, you write, you do poetry, you act, and you have your own online magazine. How did you get into, yeah. let's start with, I guess, um, from the beginning, your singing. How did you get into okay. it? When did you discover that was what you wanted to do? Sure, definitely. Not a problem, not a problem. Um, I will say that at a very young age, of seven years old, um, you know how everybody has a good calling in life, and I feel like that was the age I feel like that was a calling for me. You know, music has always been a part of my life, uh, you know, very young age, having it in the household, especially on the weekends. 
you know, my parents play, you know, and doing, court, and doing, you know, chores and all that sorts. And um, I just felt, you know, it was something that was that was destined. So down the line, like, I started, you know, going to uh, my junior high school 22, starting there as a school choir, as a school choir member, you know, got a chance to do competitions there. We won a first, tri- uh, first trophy, a first place trophy for the anti-violence um, uh, kind of competition we did, and we won that. And after that experience, it was just amazing. Like, wow, I, I got to really, like, that's my motive now. And then down the line, I continue, you know, um, you know, I had the chance to work with Al Sharpton for the Change Choir um, many years ago, and it was just a great experience to travel and see things and that sort. And down the line, I just, you know, continue becoming a solo artist and just doing, like, open mic showcases and all that sort. And, um, yeah, it's, it's been a journey. It's been a journey, but I just love, you know, dealing with everything I've been going through and that sort as an artist. Let me ask you a question. So what is your sure. passion? Music, writing, being the editor, or acting? Uh, that's a tough question. I I can't really answer that. <laughs> I I would say um music is always first before anything. Music I would just say music. It's 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 in my blood, so it's definitely that's that's if to answer that question, mostly music, if anything. Yeah. So, what made you what made you want to be an editor? Editor. Um. Well, down the line, that was something that was thrown at me one time. Um. You know, doing poetry. That was like first. You know, my first kind of taste of doing writing and stuff like that, and then songwriting afterwards. And then, you know, you know, grow, growing my own uh, platform I have now as well. Um. You know. I tapped into the, the writing process and towards being my own editor as of, you know, with the magazine, which is called the Real G Spotlight Magazine. And it's hard work. I'm not going to lie to you. It's very much hard work because you got to put a lot of dedication to it. You have to proofread. You have to go through each and every single article that's given to you or anything that's put together, so you have to make sure it's perfected. Um, but it, it's great. You get to see the results. You get to see people who submit their, you know, their information on the magazine and see their faces lit up when they see their, their work on the magazine. It's great. It's a really good experience. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how long have you been doing poetry? Wow. Oh, man. I would say, uh, like, since the age of 16 or 17 years old. And um, yeah, it, it's been great. You know, it actually that was my first love before songwriting was uh, poetry, and then down the line, it just it kind of extended that to, towards songwriting. And um, it's just a great love for both, you know, in a sense, you know, that how it's intertwined and everything else. And um, yeah, I actually have published a couple of uh, poetry books as well. They're all available on Amazon, and other books as well, self-taught books and personalized books as well. Yeah, I'm going to turn this interview back over to the WTW, Women's Takeover. But I want, hey, sure. before you leave, I want you to recite a poem for us. Can you do that? Ooh. Okay, i got to find my poem book. but <laughs> I'll, I'll find I mean, something. Okay. I'll... We like to we like to call out the talent. So I like that. I like that. We, we definitely like to keep you on your toes. So as he mentioned, awesome. you know, he kind of touched on to all of the other things that you're into. How do you balance yes. it? That's a good question. Um, I'll be honest with you. I I rarely I barely sleep. <laughs> I just want to see. I I have to keep. I have to rest a little more. But I would say the best thing is how I balance out everything. You know, try to work on my my music and where the the case may be. I think it's just. Knowing time to take time for yourself, meaning like, okay, let's say you do eight hours or ten hours straight, you need time for yourself. And I realize that now doing so much. So in the, in the way to answer your question is like I just try to balance out the best way I can to my to my standards. And at least if I get like three or four hours of sleep, I'm good, you know. <laughs> yeah. Three or four hours. I'm yeah, good. I, I, I understand. I get it. I get it a day. I understand. <laughs> I understand. I'm lucky. If I get, if I wake up and I got four, five hours, I'm excited. Ooh, like yes, I did. I accomplished something. He's so silly. 
Oh my! <laughs> so silly. <laughs> that's true. That's but cool. But that's true, though. Oh. That's true for business owners, entrepreneurs. You always yeah. tend to put yourself not even second. Way that's so true. Um, but you manage to find that balance. So I commend you on that. So tell us Thank about you. the first song you sent. What we're getting into. Okay. Oh, my. It's, I have to remember because it's, it's been a while. <laughs> it's like it's everywhere. Uh, I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's Let Him Heal You. I don't know if that's the right one I sent. Oh, God. You I don't did know send one. that. Yes. Oh, hold on. Okay, let me show. Okay. She sent, okay. She sent some records, Nikki. She sent the three of them things. Nikki, oh, she yeah, yeah. Like, she a poet. <laughs> she a writer, <laughs> actor, musician. A homegirl. A homegirl. She 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 a homegirl. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, no, too. Okay, so the song I sent you guys, I think one of them, I feel you, that's the inspirational, uplifting song. And that was, I actually did that last year, and the album, which is out now, is called Here I Am. Definitely go support that, guys. That's available at all digital platforms. And um, quick side note, Emmy Kama just did that music video yesterday, and um, we got some great feedback and great views on that. So definitely go check that out, guys, if you get a chance. Uh, that song's called En En Nikama. It's a, it's a bilingual song, English and Spanish, and it's really a, a sensual song, sexy and all that sort. Of, but okay, back to Let Him Hear You. All right, so this song <laughs> I did this song on the same time. Yes, I'm multitasking. Like, wait a minute. Um, so yeah, Let Him Hear You pretty much is the song. It's of this thing, and you know, I just wanted to inspire people because we're going through this pandemic and everything else with the COVID nineteen. I felt like we needed to hear something to this that's heal us at this time. So with this said, um, this song is definitely something that hopefully hope motivates your listeners and inspire them to just keep having faith. I think we have the COVID-21 now. Like 19 is up. Oh, okay. So we have the COVID-21. Huh? Yeah, like which one is it? Like, it's still growing. <laughs> it's still <laughs> growing. But I'm with yeah. you. Let yeah. it with you. Vera G is sitting in with the WCW. Go ahead, DC, introduce it then. New York, stand up. We about to turn up for y'all. Nick, <laughs> where we going? We going to let him hear you. We be back. <laughs> He will lead He will lead the way Let Him heal you Give me strength every day Let Him heal you Let Him come my way Let Him heal you Give me strength every day let him heal you. Let him come my way. God, put your trust in him. He will lead the way. way. Open your heart to him. Take your pain away. Give me strength every day. Ooh. Let me heal. Let me come my way. Let me heal. Give me strength every day. Let me heal. Let me come my way. Oh, oh. 
such as this is needed. So thank you. Thank you. Appreciate oh, it. Thank you. I'm all for that Jesus music, man. Oh boy, yeah, Jesus music. And that sounds like some Jesus music right there. We team Jesus over here. I ain't, I can't sugarcoat it. We team Jesus. <laughs> and I Me oh, too. <laughs> So, oh my God. God. Ooh, who <laughs> your music? Go ahead, right. I was like, no, no, you ask. Oh. <laughs> who produces your music? Yes. Uh, so a big shout out, big shout out to my engineer uh, Wilson, who um, we tirelessly did this album uh, as of last year. Um, and it's just a big shout out to the other producers. I don't know they hit their their names on top of my head. Sorry, <laughs> but shout out to them, those out there who. Um, was able to work with me for, to make this beautiful uh, production, the beat itself and everything else. Uh, but, yeah, it's just something I wanted to put out to the world so people could just know that, you know, God does exist and we just need him at those times that are our toughest. Amen. I'm going to give you a couple more. <laughs> Amen. 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 Again. No, but before we go on, before we go on, you know, you got to – Pay reverence, and it's needed. So I'm glad you can that in. Um, I, I really am. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Nick, you got to give us social media real quick. Please do. What's your social media? Oh. Oh my! So, okay, so I was just waiting. Okay, <laughs> yes. Um, you guys can find me. Uh, my Instagram is at official Vero G. Uh, my Facebook artist page is at V E R O twenty eight eighty four. Um, my Twitter same handle is at V E R O twenty eight eighty four, and my website is www.verogmusic.com. dot dot com. Okay, we're gonna add for that several times throughout this interview. So please, no, understand. no problem. It's okay, no problem. <laughs> no problem. So in your bio, you have a long list of venues and places that you performed. Yes. As an independent artist, how important is it to do mm, these that's type enough. of open mics and things like that? Definitely, definitely. I feel it's very essential. Uh, even before COVID had happened, I know it kind of shut some things down. But prior to that, um, as being an independent artist, this is, this is kind of like a way for people to know who you are, to grow your fan base, uh, you know, to get your, your music across. I mean, that's I think that's essential. You know, any independent artist out there that's listening and tuning in now, they know that when you do these open mic showcases or live events, and you go on stage and perform, you're basically 
being, you know, you're being vulnerable in the sense that you're showing people your talent and, you know, how, what you could promote or, you know, in that sense and show people your, your your gift or your talent and to take it from that point on to see who, you know, would like to, you know, be a fan or a supporter or maybe down the line may want to work with you or collaborate, stuff like that. Where are you from? Um, I'm here in New York City. <laughs> Are no, you no, but you gotta ask like, See, like, a, a lot of people told me that. What is Boricua? Exactly, someone said it. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> okay, Boricua. Boricua, yeah. Okay. okay <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of people. No, it's okay. A lot of people told me it's like, uh, how, how long have yeah. you been Spanish? How long have you been Puerto Rican? <laughs> Oh my goodness! I cannot believe it. <laughs> I mean, so the day I came out, my mother's like, "Move, I guess." I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's right. You got to oh, rumble with this one. You got to rumble with him. That's no, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, man. No, but it's I okay. recognize. I recognize the accent. He recognized it too because his mother's Puerto Rican. He's just pulling your leg, but. I recognize it because I'm from the Bronx, so, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're like, wait a minute. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I knew what it was. You know what I'm saying? I knew what it was. Boricua all day. Have you? Okay, appreciate it, appreciate it. I know COVID kind of shut things down and shook up the city a little bit, but given the opportunity, would you do the Puerto Rican Day Parade? Oh my god, that'd be so awesome! Um, actually, I I didn't. Well, that, if I ever get the opportunity, that'd be first just amazing to experience that. You know, to you know embrace your culture and your people, and just to know that you know we we have come such a long way, and we're here to just root for one another and all that sort of. So, but I did get a chance uh, to have like the local, uh, as they say, local events stuff like that through the Puerto Rican uh, Day Parade um, festivities. So I was actually. A, well, I think the two years ago I did it. Um, a big shout out to the people in the National Puerto Rican Day Parade, um, their Brooklyn festivity. Forgive me. Uh, I got a chance to perform there. Actually, I opened up the show, and it was just an amazing feeling. It was great. It's great. That's super dope. Thank that you. Super dope. <laughs> no, that that's Thank really you. super dope. So. In order to get into a place where you can do that, you had to do a lot of networking. How long yes. have you kind of been networking, promoting yourself, and just on the grind in general? Wow. Um, I would say it has to be the past eight years now. Um, just, it, you know what it is. And a lot of people say, oh, you know, it's just luck. I say it's not luck. It's about who you know and who you network with and those that see the growth in you as an artist and that want to take that risk and that chance with you. And I feel I have come such a long way um, as an artist. And I started, you know, years ago back then and looking back now as, an, you know, my, my journey, as they say, and seeing the growth in my music. And it's just been a phenomenal um, a phenomenal kind of journey in that sense and seeing how it's grown. Yeah. Hey, hey, Nikki. Yes? I heard she was an actor. <laughs> That's what he said. He said that. I heard that. she was an actor. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> so let's talk about it. How long yeah, have you been and what happened? Wow. Been? Okay, I'm gonna go way back for this. Um, I started in my junior high school years, many years ago, um, doing like small plays here and there. Um, and down the line, I, you know, it was just great to experience that. And then down the line, I did actually audition for the uh, blue, but at that time, because of my age and I was already almost a senior in high school, they couldn't accept me. I was like so devastated, but I said, okay, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep trying. So. Um, yeah, with that in mind, I just kept pushing myself. And then, you know, I just, from the acting field, I will say I I tapped it more in my adulthood, you know, doing independent um, films, short films, web series, and stuff like that. And, yeah, I, I just tapped into that. And I've been doing it for a good amount of years, I will say. Yeah. 
What would you like to be the forerunner of your career? Because you have a lot of different avenues. And until, you know, you decide to clone yourself, you are just one person. (laughs) What machine are you pushing the hardest? Hmm, that's a good uh, question. I I would say uh, I, that's a really good one. I have to pick up anything. Um, I think down the line it's just the music. It's, 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 the music is, is first, first and foremost that first, that first tool I have that I think that will definitely um, just continue putting messages out there and inspiring people or just you know music that could relate to people and and having you know just good vibes to it and appreciating it, you know, down the line. Okay, so with oh, that thanks. being said, with that being said, tell us about this next song that you want us to hear. Yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, I hope I have to say the right one, right one next one. Uh, I think, is it uh, Come With Me? I want to make sure I said the right one. Yeah, we got Come With Me. You definitely said Okay, so make sure the right one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> no problem. No problem. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Before we get into this next song, can you can you cook like rice and beans and shit? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I throw it down. Yeah. She said, "I throw down." <laughs> you throw down. Look, whether you come yeah. to the awards or not, whether you come to the awards or not, I need some pasta lijo. I Ooh. need everything, 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 everything. I need everything. I'm, I, I, need everything. I, I, I don't know. I don't know a lot, a lot of stuff, but I could do what I, I know. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I don't put so on what, what, what's, your, what's, what's your specialty? Ooh, um, I like to make. Well, it's called pork shoulder bending. Um, rice with beans, of course. Uh, or pretty much that's like my main one. Or pretty much anything, you know, uh, steak with onions. You know, I, I, I hook it up. I hook it up, yeah. Make the rice and so, Okay. <laughs> so we're from New York, right? But we currently yeah. live in New York, and there's no real coochie Fritos out here. We don't oh, currently live in New York. We don't currently so live in we New we York. So when we go. We currently live in San <laughs> when we go oh, home, we try to eat all the food we can because exactly. they don't have that here. So you oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. You, you got to come on out. We definitely need you to come out <laughs> to the work. I'm not saying just say, okay. just say feed us, but you know, come on out. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. We have ADD real bad. So tell us about coming no, it's okay. into it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So tell us about Come With Me. Okay, sure, definitely. Uh, so this song came about, like, over a year ago. Uh, this was on my last album, Victory Album, which came out like over, over a year and changed when the pandemic happened. Um, and a big shout out to my amazing feature for this Cuban Lake, who was which was for, you know, before he was formerly known as a church squad member years ago. And just to have worked with him with this project was phenomenal. And um, it was just been amazing feedback on people who like it. And we have the music video as well. Um, you guys could check that out on my um, YouTube channel, which is Vero G Spotlight Network. Just type up, you know, uh, come with me featuring Vero G. You'll see it there. And it's just, you know, just amazing. So uh-huh. this one is a bilingual uh-huh. English, and, English uh-huh. and Spanish. How do you spell it? Okay. How do you spell it? <laughs> how do you spell it? Vero G. Uh, oh, no. Or oh, the name of the song? Or the... No. no. How, how do you, you spell, spell Vero G? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, v- <laughs> V-E-R-O. And then you go space, you know, and then G, and the little dot, and then you're good to go, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Hi, come with me, featuring Cuban Link. Shout out to Cuban Link. I haven't heard that name in a minute. We'll be back. Right, not the Cuban Link. <laughs> 
Veronica, Veronica, Veronica. You've been like Veronica, Veronica. 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 Mami, vente conmigo Sé que tú no estás contenta con él Se te ve en tus ojos perdido Él ya no te sabe querer Vente conmigo Just a shot to make you mine Show you to love you And blow your mind Do it as me, you're so do you A love so divine Show me the love Conmigo, sé que tú no estás contenta con él. Se te ve en tus ojos perdido. Él ya no te sabe querer. This is another Your State Radio Exclusive. Veronica, 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 you've been like Veronica, Veronica, Veronica. Vente conmigo. Veronica, Come Veronica, with me. Veronica, Veronica. Mami, vente conmigo. Sé que tú no estás contenta con él. Se te ve en tus ojos perdido Él ya no te sabe querer Shout out to Cuban Links. How did you get the feature with Cuban Links? Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, so, true story, around two years ago or so, 
Um, you actually, I, I work at a TV station on here in New York City, and um, I was luckily by by God and destiny, I say, uh, we crossed paths, and I say, hey, what's up, Cuban? Like, hey, and I didn't know him. I know his music and stuff, but it was just like the opportunity was there. So, with that in mind, I, I waited for the right time. I introduced myself to him, my management. Um, we spoke to his management. You know, we we, we exchanged numbers, and down the line, we always stayed in touch. I had to have the opportunity to have on my show. Uh, we talked a bit afterwards. I said, hey, this is do, do like a, you know, a collaboration. He was like, yeah, you know how to say yeah, yeah. But uh, I was persistent. I was like, no, we, we're going to make this happen. So with that in mind, you know, we spoke. We talked a little bit. I had sent some beats to him, and there was one that really stood out, which was this beat. And, you know, we did, you know, the legal stuff, paperwork and everything. And, um, yeah, and the rest is history. Yeah. yeah. Can I send you a beat? Okay. Get on. <laughs> just the hook. I just want you to do the hook. So I'm gonna, okay. I want to send you okay. the beat. Can I send it to you? And Nikki, you got her email? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to send okay. you the beat. I'm going to send you the beat. If not tonight, by the morning, you should have it. And I want you to just do like the 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 hook, the what you call it, the uh, chorus. That some people call it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I want you to okay. Play. Okay. Okay. And then send it back to me, and I'm gonna smash it and send it back to you. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> like that's kind of you know the basis of what we do. We try to network artists. Um, we try to introduce people who may have never worked together before. For your magazine, are you open to interviews? We definitely have some people that we can send you away and get that yeah, set up. Yes. What's that looking like? What, yes, what do you do? What What is your ma- What does your magazine consist of? Um, no, the, the name of the magazine is called Vero G Spotlight Magazine, and it's available at um, www.madcloud.com, and it gets released every first of the month. So pretty much, like, is option if you want to get like the order, they could get it either on digital or in print. So it's either or. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, let me make sure that I understand. So hold on, BC. I'm sorry. I want to make sure that I understand. So when you do your interview or your expose in your magazine, you have the mm-hmm. option to order a print copy. Yes. Um, yeah, pretty much oh, so cool. if it's like say let's say yeah, when like for example, when it gets released and dropped um on the first and that's where it's like I have I just wanna make sure if people want to submit right. they have to it's like a deadline. They have to submit before a certain time and so I can put it all together and everything and then when it gets released I'll like send the link and then from that point I think either it's also them like they could order order either um, you know, digital or print or both. They could go both either as well. Yeah. I think so that's who do you interview? What type uh-huh. of people do you interview? Like who goes Um all sorts of people. I mean, it's not only artists, it's like anyone like pretty much who have a story. I look for inspiring stories or listening stories or people who like, you know, survivor survivors of different things they went through. Or people that I just want to tell a story. Um, is that or artists or, you know, upcoming comedians, poets, anything anybody that wants to just be heard is that platform I provide for them so they could, you know, get you know recognized and that sort. So you do comedians too? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. So we definitely are going to talk behind the scenes. I'm, I'm really okay, excited cool. to network more with you and um, send, send some, some dope talent your way. So tell Thank us you. about in Mikama. Ooh, yes, this one. Okay. All right, so this one, Emmy Gama, we uh, is actually this is uh, one the latest single uh, for the album Here I Am, which is out came out last year, but I'm still pushing it out of this year as well. And this song, it's 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 finally what's like same thing like with the last one you guys played is English and Spanish, and pretty much the the concept of the song is you know, Emmy Gama. Those who don't know what it means, it pretty much means in my bed. So 
it's like a sensual song, clean though, but you know, it's, it's called, pretty it's much called what? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and almost, hold on, hold on, because I, I ain't ready yet. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting excited. He's like, wait a minute, what? You said it's called In My Bed? Gamma, but in English, the translation to that is In My Bed. Yeah. Say it again in Spanish. En Mi Gamma. Oh, yes. <laughs> and actually. Oh my god! No, but actually, we just dropped the video as of last night. So if you guys want to see the video, it's very sensual. You gotta watch it. So where they gonna find a video at? They know it. Yeah, they could. They could. They could watch it on my YouTube channel, uh, Vero G Spotlight Network, or they could just type it up on YouTube. Uh, put any Gamma Vero G, and you'll see the video right there. You gotta spell it, man. They need people read it. <laughs> Um, N, N is E N, me is M I, uh, Gamma is C A M A. Nick, oh, can't wait to get in my bed. Oh Lord, <laughs> I knew that was coming. We'll be back. We'll be back. Oh my God, <laughs> there are things we'll be back. <laughs> and come on. Toda la noche voy a aprovecharte como es. Si tienes que irte, yo sé que vas a volver. Y amo si tú quieres ver.
Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. man said, that man said, that man said, ooh, ooh. Yo, he, uh, he was on it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he oh, was God. on the job. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. Who was that on the track with you? All right. Um. So it's funny story because when I when I purchased the beat, uh, or Lisa, as they say, I uh, I got the guy's name, but I don't know his face, so I kind of just went the mystery man. <laughs> but no, no, at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> I just left it as the unknown guy. <laughs> he said the unknown guy. Wink. He sounds like Latin Lou. He sounds like yeah. Latin Lou. Latin Lou. Yeah, he's a local yeah. artist here in North Carolina, Fayetteville. Yeah. And, uh-huh. you know, he's an artist. It's not, to me, that's what it sounds like. Let me find oh, wow. Latin Looney. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Latin Looney with a I mean, body dick. Latin Looney with a body dick. Oh, my. <laughs> Latin Looney with a body <laughs> Oh, my. He uh, wouldn't have been the unknown <laughs> mystery artist. Oh, my. <laughs> 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 oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do in your spare time? Oh, that's a good question. Um, when I have which little left time I have, <laughs> um, I usually watch like either movies, uh, TV shows. Um, you know, I I just brush up just watching like stuff online, YouTube videos and stuff, and then um, or not just just keep working. <laughs> that's pretty much my spare time. Yeah. Do you watch? Do you watch that power shoot? Go ahead, I'm sorry. I, I can hear that. I, I was just trying to, like, well, I'm listening. Do you watch that power shit, like Tommy and that power Um, I, I, I used, I was watching the first episode, that was a couple years back, well, power, but I just, I wasn't really into it much as, as it is, but I know it got popular, but. Um, you know, I like I like watching like CSI, you know, Law and Order, like crime stuff like that, you know, pretty much. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Y'all are y'all are undercover serial killers. Oh my god. Yeah. Undercover serial killers. That's all he wanna watch is the I D channel. Well, oh no stuff like that. Y'all are yeah. under Oh, he's a tall man, man. Talk to me. Y'all are weird. That is just weird. No, That's crazy. Y'all no, I mean, I just watch it just to, like, I went to, like, detective stuff, like, what's going to happen next? You know, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I got a song. I got a song called Mefue. I want okay. you to listen to this song, and I want you to tell me what you think. I, I, and I want you to genuinely be honest. Okay, song. okay. It's called Fue by my man, Lat Loon. I want you to tell me okay. what you think about this song. Now, now you, you, you Puerto Rican, so you know what yeah. Mefue means. Let's get it. Okay. Fue, let's get it. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, no loony. No fue yo. Hey, hey, hey. Estaba yo tranquilo, posteado en la esquina Cuando escuché el ruido que ahí venía la policía Me di vuelta yo maniga y me puse a correr Tenía crack, tenía mota y 500 percocé Esta vez no me alcanzan, eso es lo que yo decía Aunque tenga que correr toda la noche y todo el día Yo sé que esos cabrones son los me quien me falla Pero te juro que ese gusto no se lo voy a dar En lo que estaba 
corriendo, yo saqué el celular Busqué el número de meme y le empecé yo a llamar Le dije a Lisa, te maniga, traigo la poli atrás Necesito algo heavy para poder yo disparar Ay. Por eso me ando relajado porque todos los míos andan bien armados Nunca tengo yo que andar preocupado porque todos los míos van a estar disparando Sigo tranquilo bebiendo, yo vino, fumé en la mañana con los ojos chinos Tanta droga, dime cómo la combinas ahora con mentalidad de un asesino Estaba yo tranquilo, poteado en la esquina Esquina, 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 ya en la esquina Cuando escuché el ruido que ahí venía la policía Sí, así, 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 ahí venía la policía Me di vuelta maniga y me puse a correr Ya me puse a correr, manega, me puse a correr Tenía crack, tenía mota y 500 por cosé Tenía crack, tenía mota y 500 por cosé Estaba yo tranquilo, posteado en la esquina Cuando escuché el ruido que ahí venía la policía Me di vuelta, yo manega y me puse a correr Tenía crack, tenía mota y 500 por cosé Esta vez no me alcanzan, eso es lo que yo decía Aunque tenga que correr toda la noche y todo el día Yo sé que estos cabrones solo me quieren ver fallar Pero te juro que ese gusto no se lo voy a dar En lo que estaba corriendo yo saqué el celular Busqué el número de meme y le empecé yo a llamar Le dije a Lisa, te maniga, traigo la poli atrás Necesito algo heavy para poder yo disparar Is it da 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 for me? Right, it's the da 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 da. Oh, shoot, okay. Um, but mm-hmm. yeah, it's 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 good. It, it it's kind of like like you know in your face, like yeah, you know what he's pretty much talking about and stuff and drugs and stuff like that. And I'm pretty good, pretty right. good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. But he's very. We have a lot of music by him. He's very talented. And he's local here, so. You know, like I said, we have a lot of artists that we're able to network, so I'm definitely excited about building that bridge with you. Do you want to ask the questions that we ask everybody? So this is a two-part question. First part is if you can look back and tell your 16-year-old self something, what would you say? And the second part is where do you see yourself in five years? Ah, this is good. I like this right here. Oof, good one. Um, the first for the first question, my answer for that is, um, what would I tell myself at that age is um, to Six never ten. give up on yourself. Um, yes, yeah, to keep to keep pushing and forget those that you know that are gonna just criticize and judge you because the outcome is better than it's, it's gonna. It's, it's like this, you know, thing. It's like pretty much. I would tell myself like, even though you're going through stuff. Things are going to get better down in life, so just look forward towards the future, and that's it. Yeah. Um, and I think the second one, pretty much in five years, um, what I see myself is just continue to help people, like a lot of independent artists myself, you know, like what you guys are doing as well, and I appreciate you guys doing that. You know, just keep pushing out there and helping a lot of independent artists out there that need that, you know. Um, you know, and just want to keep continuing with the community work I do. Because I just did last year, uh, we did our second annual back to school event, um, and we're trying to plan our third one this year. We're just trying to figure it out now, the details. Well, we you know, we just want to continue doing that legacy and doing it every year and helping out the community and the kids and that sort. Um, I want to just, just want to give out great new music to you guys as well, new content. Actually, I do have um, new music coming out, new um, new album. Uh, this is called Energies. It's called. I think this is the fifth uh, EP album will be coming out this year. Um, so definitely new music, different sound, definitely nice stuff. So yeah, I just want to just keep working. Yeah, that's the best answer I've heard. I'm gonna be honest to say I just oh, want to keep working. No, because everybody, you know, you try to find the right answer. Oh well, I hope to be here. I hope to be exactly. on TV. I hope exactly. to be there. But you. You made it very plain that I hope to still be working. Yeah, no matter what what you're doing. (laughs) Yeah, 
That's dope to me. I don't know. That's dope to Thank me. You. I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate that. You are. Like, it was a really, really dope interview. It was our pleasure to have you. I'm going to get with Thank you. Thank you so much. Um. We already have each other's contacts. I'm gonna make sure you have our number yep. because I wanna, I wanna, like I said, build that network and bridge. Give your social yeah, media with everybody yeah. one more time. Sure, definitely, no problem. Uh, so my Instagram is at official Vero G. Uh, my YouTube channel, uh, Vero G Spotlight Network. Uh, my Facebook artist page is at V E R O twenty eight eighty four. Twitter is the same. It's at V-E-R-O 2884. Uh, you guys could check the website, which is all information there uh, at www.verogmusic.com. And I just want to thank you guys so much again for having me. Appreciate it. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's What's up? 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 Do you write like fight music? Um, do you write trap music? Mm-hmm. Do you write guy? You know what I mean, what type of music? Do you I you know it's funny. It's a good question because I as an artist I don't like just to be on the one genre. Like I usually do a mix of everything, like Latin, hip hop, R and B, so. So pretty much it, it depends on when I hear the instrumental or the beat, as I call it. Um, it gravitates to me, what I have, like the mood and how I feel. But the majority of times it's mostly, like I mentioned, like hip-hop. Um, it's a mix of everything, Latin, R&B. So um, I just try to, like, have songs that could, people could relate to and be inspired and also, like, have dance to. That's what I really want people to do, just have a good time and that sort. Okay. All right. Well, tomorrow, BC will be back. It's Throwback Thursday. Like I said, it's been a pleasure talking Thank to Vera G. You. BC held me down as usual. Um, my ladies will be back <laughs> in the building as soon as they can. I want you all to love on your people. Hug them tighter. Tell them that you love them. Life is short. Life is short. Yeah. And comfortable or uncomfortable. She don't tell me she like, fuck that nigga. No, I just squeeze his butt. We love y'all. We be there. Oh, jeez. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> you know you make me wanna.